Hi guys, welcome back to Quest for a Farm. In a previous video, which I'm going to show you a snippet of now, I showed you guys how to make tortillas from scratch. Um, so I actually recorded these on the same day. And now we're going to show you how we use those tortillas to make the most delicious quesadillas. So what we're going to do now... So we move themselves into the pan. Thank you, can I please son? No problem. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop our tacos in and we just watch after 30 seconds to a minute. I don't know if you can see here, it's starting to form little bubbles. It'll start forming bubbles all over. You can see here's a nice big bubble forming. So it's only really the first one or two that take forever so what i usually do is i keep them under a damp tea towel so that they don't dry out and go all crispy apart i found that it's quite necessary to do this with a glass of wine Let's get some onions and garlic into the pan. Hi guys, I'm so sorry for the voiceover. I kind of lost the audio on these tracks. So I added some mushrooms and green peppers to my onions and garlic. After that, I added a can of sweet corn, just your regular sweet corn, not creamed corn or anything. Let it cook off and fry through a wee tad. And then I added in some of our shredded beef from yesterday's pot roast. Um, I also added some hot sauce in, um, that's an optional ingredient. All right, so now we have added our shredded beef. Give it a stir. And without further ado, we will start assembling our quesadillas. I'm going to turn the camera off for two seconds while I scream at my boys to get ready. Okay, it's about to start getting louder in the kitchen. So we're going to put one of our quesadillas in our pan. Liberally sprinkle it with cheese. And then pretty much we're going to wait until it starts warming up. As you can start hearing that sizzle, we add a little bit of our filling to it. Huh? And then a little more cheese on top. If you guys are not that keen on cheese, that's absolutely fine. My family absolutely loves it. And then another tortilla to chop the sandwich. I always give it a little bit of a press down. Get your stuff. Nah. Don't burn yourself. Okay, so the bottom is starting. You warm up, You've got to be really quick on your flip, and if you're quick enough, the cheese will stick your sandwich together. Does somebody have a plate for me? All right, so just give it enough time on the other side for the cheese to melt, and then remove it onto a plate and cut it. Okay, here is our quesadilla. delicious and cheesy and ready to be served. Better up.
み！